Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off the Melly inspired way and that's opening packages. So I have a package from Miss Joanne herself and um, I wanted to open it. I also have another package in my PO box that I need to go grab but I haven't gone just yet. So we'll just open this separately and then whenever I make my way over there, we'll open that later. So let me grab my scissors and I'll be right back. Okay. So I already cut it open. This was like a 3 a.m. purchase. I'm just letting you guys know because I don't even know what I ordered. <laughs> um, I will say I forgot to mention that it is October 10th. It's Thursday and it's 4.13 p.m. Okay, so we ordered some Big Twist Posh Yarn. And the color Oyster Mushroom. So I think this is a new color. And I ordered one, two, three. I ordered three. I have no clue why I ordered three. I do remember vaguely that it was on sale. And maybe because it was a new color, I decided to get three of them. I have no clue but I do have a fourth one over there that um, one of my lovely mods sent me so now I have four um yep I like this brown so it's like a brownish gray it's like a taupeish gray you know so yeah there is that I do have a list of things that I want to get done in this vlog which I do have written down so I need a I'm in a pattern test for bought these new little Halloween bear so I need to make that. And then I got chosen for these itty bitty cute mini um, lungs and kidneys from Ode Colton. I, Ode Colton. I, I have no clue how to say the name, but they are very adorable. I'll pop them up on the screen for you guys. And then um, I do have to and want to make a little decky with the Premier yarn that I was gifted. So we'll be going through that. I think I'm going to start off with Bathy's Bear. I think it's so adorable i need to find it on here the pattern test is due on the 12th and it's the 10th so i'll finish it tonight it's a very simple um bear very adorable it's her staple i feel like very very cute i think i'm just gonna do the one without the halloween hat on it i like the body style it's very cute so we'll do that i'll probably start on that i really wanted to wait because the package that i have in my p.o box is from the crafting ginger and you guys know that that's who i purchased some of my hooks from she had this fall one that was just perfection and i wanted to use it <laughs> that's the reason why i've like been holding off because i've been wanting to crochet since like 2 p.m keep in mind i was supposed to go work on the house today and I didn't but it'll be I'll work on it tomorrow so that means everything I need to do today I need to finish today like these three things are on my priority list so I definitely got to finish some of this stuff so yeah I'll take you guys on this journey with me and I'm seeing the reaction that you guys are having to my little birdies and thank you guys so much I appreciate it no comment goes unnoticed anyways i will be back on and yeah i just wanted to start off the vlog this way so happy to have you guys here every single week and thank you for you know being on this corner of the internet with me i'll be back on and i'll show you progress i also need to go to target actually to pick up my order so hmm. okay i'll be back <laughs> okay guys i have the package scissors wrong way <laughs> Ooh, it's a green box this time. Okay. Cute. Ooh, it fell. Here it goes. And it's a four and a half, which is my favorite hook size. Look how beautiful that is very fall it's like orangey goes into goldy brown love it but yeah that's it um this looks really nice i'll be back on hey guys so today is sunday it's 11 36 p.m my phone's literally about to die um but i need to package up these sewing sticks for one of you lovely ladies 
and it is these cute little bumblebee sewing sticks. I already have the note. I have the little cute goodie bag. And let's just package them up because I need to take it to the post office tomorrow. Or probably my dad will take it since I work. So there's that. And then I have the little package here. Handmade with love sticker. There we go. So this is going out to Amanda. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I will make the tracking sticker off camera. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. So today is October 15th. It's Tuesday. It's 616. And um, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. I think I worked on this this morning. So I got chosen for a pattern test. Um, for Alex and I don't know how to say her name on here but you guys know who this person is I talk about her a lot um it is Dokot Dokotun Dokotan um Shay Dokotun um she does the little stingray I did the stingray challenge and she came out with these adorable little organs so I got chosen for the kidney and then I got chosen for the little lungs. So I made the little lungs. I also made the kidney. Um, I actually gave it to my dad. <laughs> so I told him we can fix his kidneys and I gave him a kidney. <laughs> but um, he kept it. So I already photographed the kidney and the um, lungs. So let me show you the kidney. That's what the kidney one looks like. Adorable. And then this is the kidney photo. But yeah, that's literally everything that I've made. I feel like I've been slacking in the crocheting department, but I have been kind of reorganizing my life. And um, we've been working on the rental home. So, you know, tons of ideas and inspirations. This is kind of um, what I'm going for. And I may do a separate video, like, at the end, like, the before and after. But I do kind of want this type of kitchen and this type of, like, little bar area with a little, like, island, I guess you can say. But this is kind of, like, the inspiration I'm going for. I'm also looking at, like tons of like floating shelves like this because it is a smaller kitchen so I want a lot of space on the top we can also do cabinets which we do have but I'm thinking I know you guys don't know but it's like an l-shaped kitchen so maybe the the longest part of the l can be floating shelves and the little part of the l can have the cabinet so there won't be too many cabinets um things like that and then I also want to do this kind of thing outside so we can do lives out here it may not look ex exactly like this but I want something similar it's not so beautiful so that is something my dad said he's able to do and then of course I've been helping him we've all been helping pitching in to get this done if you guys follow me on Instagram you kind of see the updates earlier because sometimes I post on my stories but um, today we were just um, putting the new windows up we had put the windows up my dad did that during the weekend and then we were just framing the entire window so We've been doing that in the dining room. I ended up doing a second layer of like, cause there's paneling on the wall. So I ended up doing a second layer of, um, of basically doing that everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's been fun and just, you know, something new. So I haven't really crocheted. I actually got a a little scuff mark a tiny little scuff mark from working it doesn't feel like I have any calluses 
that's the update on that. I've been also at night, I have been typing up my patterns for my little duckies, birdies, my mods. And the only two that I have left that are in front of me actually to type up are the turkey and the chicken or rooster hey hey mod. So those are the only two I have left. They're the lengthiest ones and um, it shouldn't take me long. It's just they're the lengthiest ones. So yeah. I'm probably gonna type them up today, but it's 621 now, so I do want to take a nap before I go on live. I hope I don't miss the live this time. Last time I was just so tired that I like, I didn't wake up until like 10 and I'm like, I can go on live, but I don't know if anybody will still be up at that time, you know? So I apologize for that, for being so spotty, um, but I am going on live today. It's Tuesday, so I hope you guys are excited. Um, I'll probably be crocheting some of these bird mods and just chatting with you guys. But yeah, that's it for right now. I'm probably going to take a nap. Well, I'm trying to wait until 7 so I can just um, take like a 45 minute nap. I don't want to sleep longer than that. That's it for right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit if I have any updates. Okay guys, editing Melly. I can't believe I never showed you guys that I finished this little cutie. Why? I have no clue. But this is the pumpkin... Pumpkin? Oh my gosh, I can't talk. This is the pumpkin bear that I was um, talking about at the beginning of my video from Stitches by Patti. So as you can see, it has a cute little face, it has the little eyes, and I love the body of this cutie it's very small it's very easy and quick to make and then the hat is my mod that i will be selling i have no clue when the halloween pack is most likely going to come out next year <laughs> honestly or maybe you know on a random tuesday i'll put it up um but no one's going to be making the fall ones anymore really i mean the I guess the fall, yes. It doesn't matter. We're talking about the bear. The bear is out now if you guys want to check it out. It is on her Etsy, Stitches by Puppy. Very cute pattern. Very quick to make. I really enjoyed the process. This is like all of her other little bears, except it's a little Halloween mod, so. And then the hat, I made the hat, but she does have a version where you, I think you color change to make the hat for hers. So make sure you check it out if you're interested. I know it's already um, October something, October 17th, 18th. I can't even keep, keep track of the days, guys. It's, uh, I've been having very, very bad, like, mind fog. It's terrible. But anyways, I just wanted to insert this because I thought how rude of me to say that I'm going to work on it and then not even show you a finished little cutie. Oh, and also, I never got to making the Christian the Ducky with the Premier yarn that I got gifted, so I definitely need to do that. I'll probably do that on live tonight, so I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So, it is October 17th. It's Thursday. It's 3.51, and the video should be going up today. I don't think I have much footage but I'll be editing it here in a little bit. Um, I just wanted to show you the last of my birdie collection. So I am going to call it, oh, let me see. I sent it to my boyfriend, so one second. I am calling it Christian the Ducky and the Nerdy Birdies because it the main reason I even made it is because of the ducky, but I've already made so many mods and I think they're just adorable. So let me show you the rest of the mods that will be included in this pack. I will be doing the tester call next week. So you guys stay tuned. I need to work up just a couple more um, because I didn't take any pictures of any of this, like the process. So I'll have to make quite a few more, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and show you the new ones. You guys have seen my um, little Hey Hey mod. You guys have seen my little rubber ducky. You guys have seen the eagle, the peacock. I don't think you guys have seen... Hold on, guys. Let me, let me grab them real quick, okay? 
Okay, so I got them in front of me. I think these are the only ones that you guys haven't seen. I don't know if I showed the crow, so I'm just gonna show that one again. But here is the crow. They all now have their little hairs or their little hair tuft. Um, you can actually make this in the pattern. I think I'm gonna change it up. But I, like, you surface crochet them individually. And you can actually just go right across and slip stitch into the next stitch to create the next one. So I think I'm going to have to rewrite that so it's a little bit easier. You guys don't have to weave in three different ends or six different ends. So I think it'll be easier if I rewrite it and then just kind of slip stitch across so you can finish all this hair tuft in one piece. He has a toupee, a one piece toupee you know so here is the crow if i didn't show it before the next one i actually did it on live with you guys so if you were on my live on tuesday shout out to you guys thank you for always being there you know we're all together as a big family and crocheting and talking so but i did the little canadian goose mod so here he goes i think this is the perfect color i think it's called like Oh, I have it right here. <laughs> Why am I trying to remember things when they're right in front of me? So I did use Posh Yarn. It's an Oyster Mushroom. It's one of the new colors. So here he goes. I did the color changes underneath. I did the color changes on the body. He is good to go and adorable. The next two are literally my favorite, I think. Um, by the way, none of these have the tail feathers in the back. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to subject myself to do them because I know I'm going to have to crochet these all over again to get photos. So on my next batch of birdies, I will put their tail feathers. Now I probably, I most likely am going to upload these to Etsy. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these cute little birdies, adopt a birdie, adopt a nerdy birdie with, and he does come with glasses because he's a nerdy birdie for a reason. He can't see. So if you're interested, I am going to post them. It'll probably be next week before the tester call. So you guys can have a birdie before my tester call comes out and you crochet your own. <laughs> if you're interested, of course. So when, you know what I just kind of didn't even realize? I just showed you the next birdie. <laughs> I think that's funny because I didn't even realize I was showing you, I was revealing to you. But yeah, I made a toucan mod. So this is the little toucan. Look at him. His little um, beak actually is a little pivoted down, you know, like the toucans normally are. I am just in love. I think it's so cute. We did the color changes on the body. We did the color changes on the face. We did a whole new beak. This beak you do have to sew on. The other ones are crocheted into the round, but I think it's justified. Look how cute he is. But yeah, this is the toucan. This is the last one that I did, actually. The one I did before was a puffin. So this white is a lot different than this one. It actually goes several rows farther than this one does if you can tell and then the beak is actually a lot smaller than the toucan so this is the puffin version and I just think he came out so adorable these are so cute like who am I because I didn't think I could come out with such an adorable pattern that's very versatile so if you want to make a duck an eagle an ostrich a toucan, a puffin, a chicken, a rooster, hey hey, um, flamingo, a peacock, a turkey, all of those patterns. You just buy one pattern and all the mods are on there. There is a table of contents on there as well so you don't get lost. And then every page is numbered with the little respective ducky on the bottom of the page like i said it's going to be called christian the ducky and the nerdy birdies so <laughs> i am very proud of that name and i've seen it tossed around on instagram a little bit on uh, people commenting but my boyfriend really kind of 
gave me the jolt in naming that. So just like he, he helps me out pretty much with all of my names for my collections and stuff. So shout out to you. Very excited about this collection. I'm not excited about remaking all of them again, but it's my fault. I get like too worked up in trying to finish the plush where I did try with the parrot to like take photos, but it's like each step having to take a photo is so annoying to me. So I just didn't do it. I'm just letting you guys know. I do want to start a little thing on my vlogs that I want to... I watched this girl. Her name is on here. I think it's called Froggy Crossing. She does a lot of Animal Crossing. She also crochets. And I watch her pretty frequently. I haven't watched her in the past couple weeks. But I watch her pretty frequently. And she normally talks about what her craving is uh, when she like streams on Twitch. She talks about what her craving is that day. So I kind of want to do it for the week. And what I've been craving this week is um, the little Belvita pumpkin spice crackers love those they're so good i just tasted them for the first time last week and i'm obsessed i actually added a ton of them to my um list for target they have these blueberry ones these banana nut ones and then the cinnamon ones and pumpkin ones i added them all to my cart <laughs> uh, that's kind of embarrassing to to say out loud but I know we don't judge here, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, but that's going to be the end of this video. I appreciate you guys coming and watching and staying. And I hope you guys consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you in tonight's live. There will be a live tonight. Last week I missed because I fell asleep. Your girl was tired. Um, I will be working on the rental home um, today. For you, yeah. It's today because it's 4.02 a.m. So I'll be working on the rental home and I get so tired after, you know, working. Um, I just want to crochet and then most of the time I just fall asleep. So, but I am going to stay up for you guys. So I will catch you guys tonight. Bring your whips. We may do a little bit of coloring too. We'll see. But your girl has a lot of these birdies to, oh. Your girl has a lot of these birdies to catch up on, so the other ones will probably not have any glasses unless I buy more because I don't have any at, at the moment. That is it, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!